we are wasting a lot of time and money every day in heavy traffic, especially in urban areas. To give you some numbers, trucks are wasting almost $28 billion annually just behind the signals, and buses are usually wasting 20% of their trip time. I'm not happy to say that, but let's be honest. By the year 2045, the number of trucks will grow by 30% and the number of vehicles will grow by almost 20%. At the end of the day, all these vehicles will result in more congestion. Now I want you to close your eyes. Imagine the situation of getting a sock behind the heavy giant truck at the signalized intersection. The signal turns green, the truck passes, the signal turns red, and you're still there, forever. That's because of the lower acceleration and deceleration of the heavy vehicles. Don't worry, open your eyes, traffic engineers are here for you. Nowadays, everything is intelligent. We are proposing the use of intelligent transportation system techniques such as TSP and FSP to tackle these miserable situations. So what are TSP and FSP? Transit and freight signal priorities are some techniques that detect the approaching buses and trucks, inform the traffic signal, and request for more green time. In that case, there is no need for them to stop and start moving again at the signalized intersection. Therefore, not only the number of stops, travel time, and delay will decrease, but also fuel consumption, CO2 emissions, and pavement maintenance costs will decrease. Although the implementation of TSP and FSP on our case study in Sunrise Boulevard, Broward County here in Florida performs really promising, but that was not the only outcome. Yes, we saved around 30% of travel time for buses, 22% for trucks, and almost 16% of travel time for passenger cars on 20 signalized intersections in Sunrise Boulevard. But this is not the end of the story. Here's the challenge. Are all intersections eligible for the application of TSP and FSP? Is it feasible to implement them at all conditions? Well, it depends. So in this research, we also developed some guidelines for traffic agencies to determine if it's applicable to implement them or not. These guidelines are developed based on several criteria and factors and after running hundreds of scenarios. I am thrilled to mention that by the use of these guidelines, hopefully we won't suffer from being a stock behind a huge truck anymore. To that day and all its benefits. We planned regionally, acted locally, and fantastically, it's applicable globally. Thank you.